Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a stretch routine for you that you could do as a cool down after one of my workouts or that you could do by itself maybe in the morning to wake up or in the evening to relax before bed. So when you're ready to get started, make your way into a child's pose, knees wider than hips, stretch your arms forward and let your forehead rest gently on the mat. Take this time here to tune into your breath. So nice big inhales through your nose and exhales through your mouth. On your next inhale, shift forward onto your hands and your knees, arch your spine and look slightly up. Then exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your navel and sit your hips back to child's pose. Again, inhale as you shift forward, arching your spine. Exhale as you round, shifting your hips back. Keep going with this movement, following your own breath here. Really starting to tune in to your breath and pair your breath with your movement. Then come back to a neutral spine. On your inhale, reach your left arm up towards the sky. Exhale, thread your left arm through the right. Again, inhale as you reach the arm up towards the sky. Exhale as you twist, keeping your hips directly over your knees. Really breathing into this beautiful twist. Last one, hold your left arm threaded through the right, press your left shoulder down into the mat and use your right hand to press the earth away from you, really feeling a nice twist through your spine. Then come back through center, let's switch sides. Inhale, right arm opens. Exhale, thread the right arm through the left. Keeping your hips nice and high, really warming up our spine here. Let's do one more. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Then rest your right shoulder down onto the mat. Take your gaze up towards the sky and breathe into this stretch. Then come back through center. Take a nice inhale. Then exhale, curl your toes under and press back into a downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal your heels here, alternate bending your knees, releasing any tension through your legs. Then press both heels down towards the mat, really press through your shoulders and take nice deep breaths. Gently walk your feet up towards your hands. Take a nice soft bend through your knees, hold on to your elbows and just let your body hang here. Feel free to sway side to side. Maybe shake your head no, nod your head yes. Then very carefully roll up to standing vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky and exhale, hands to prayer. Again, inhale, reach your arms up, look up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold, keeping a soft bend through your knees. Inhale, lengthen your spine, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Keep going, inhale as you lift your chest, finding that nice straight spine. Option to take your hands onto the tops of your shins, keeping your knees bent. Or if you have the flexibility, you could straighten your legs. Last one. Walk your feet back into a high plank position. Lower your knees and carefully lower yourself all the way down to the front side of your body. Inhale, roll your shoulders back and lift your chest, really opening through your heart center starting to feel a nice stretch through your back. 
take nice deep breaths here and come back down inhale press yourself up curl your toes under and exhale downward facing dog on your next inhale lift your left leg up towards the sky then open your hip and bend your left knee taking nice deep breaths here I want you to focus on keeping your shoulders and your chest parallel to the mat and you're just opening through that left hip then square off your hips extend your leg and take a big step forward in between your hands with your left foot next to your left thumb lower your back knee uncurl your toes and lift your chest Start with your back hip directly over your back knee, tuck your pelvis under and then shift your weight forward into your stretch. Option to reach your arms up towards the sky or you could keep them resting on your front thigh. Take nice deep breaths here, focusing on opening through your heart center. Then release your hands down to the mat, shift your weight back so that your back hip is directly over your back knee. Straighten your left leg and flex your left foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine, really focusing on finding a one long line through your back. Now you could stay there or as you exhale, fold over your straight leg. Do whatever feels good for your body at this point now let's flow through this so inhale shift your hips forward lift your chest coming up to your low lunge then exhale hands come down to the mat shift your hips back straighten your front leg and forward fold again inhale as you come up for your low lunge exhale as you shift back to your half splits so one breath per movement here really flowing through these stretches let's do this one more time inhale and exhale hold in these half splits just for one deep breath so inhale and exhale shift your hips forward back to your low lunge this time take both hands to the inner part of your left leg heel toe your left foot out to the side of the mat and really sit your hips low opening your left knee slightly keep lifting through your chest finding a one long line through your spine now you could stay here or on your inhale extend your left arm up towards the sky feeling a nice twist through your body stay here or reach your left hand behind you bend your right knee and see if you can grab a hold of your right foot on your inhale press your foot into your hand really opening through your shoulder taking nice deep breaths stay there or if you want a deeper stretch gently draw your right heel in towards your glute keep opening through your chest finding that nice twist and release take your left hand back down to the mat Curl your right toes under and pick your right knee up off the mat. Just taking a few little rocks forward and back here. Whatever feels good for your body. Really releasing through our hips. And then step your left foot back to downward facing dog. Let's switch sides. So inhale, reach your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, open your right hip and bend your right knee. Keeping your chest and your shoulders square to the mat. It's only our hip here that is opening. Everything else is staying nice and square. Then square off your hips, extend your leg and take a big step forward with your right foot stepping next to your right thumb lower your left knee uncurl your toes and lift your chest coming back to your lunge start with your back hip in line with your back knee then tuck your hips under and shift your hips forward finding your deeper stretch 
reach your arms up towards the sky if that feels good for you really opening through your chest taking nice deep breaths then release your hands down to the mat shift your weight back so your left hip is directly over your left knee straighten your right leg flex your right foot inhale lengthen your spine and if you'd like to exhale fold over your right leg feeling a really nice stretch through the back of your right leg Let's go back to that flow now. So inhale, shift your hips forward, lift your chest, finding your low lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat, shift your hips back, straighten your front leg. So one breath per movement, inhale, come up. Exhale, shift back, fold over your right leg, finding your half splits. Two more times, inhale. And exhale one more inhale and exhale hold in your half splits for one extra deep breath so big inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth shift your hips forward and take both hands now to the inner part of your right knee heel toe your right foot so it's on the side of your mat with your toes turned out. Sit your hips low, but keep shining your chest through the gateway of your shoulders. Stay here or reach your right arm up towards the sky, feeling a nice twist through your spine, but keep shifting your hips lower down towards the mat. Stay here or reach that right arm behind you. Bend your left knee and see if you can hold on to your left foot. First, press your left foot into your hand, feeling a nice stretch through your shoulders. Stay here. If you want that deeper stretch, gently draw your right heel in towards your glute. Really breathing into this stretch here, trying to relax as much as you can then carefully release out of that. Take both hands back down to the inner part of your right leg. Lift your back knee off the mat and take a few rocks forward and back. Really getting into our hips here, releasing any tension. Then step your right foot back, finding your downward facing dog and take deep breaths. Let's walk our feet to the front of the mat again, finding our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll yourself up to standing, reach your arms up to the sky, and exhale, hands to prayer. Again, inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, fold forward inhale halfway lift knees can be bent or straight exhale forward fold inhale step your feet back to your high plank knees can be up or down exhale chaturanga lowering yourself all the way down to the mat this time let's bend our elbows wide and place the tips of your fingertips onto the mat beside your shoulders Inhale, lift your chest, finding mini cobra. Exhale, come back down. And again, inhale, lift your chest, rolling your shoulders down and back. Exhale, come back down. Two more times. Maybe coming up a little bit higher each time. Last one, inhale, looking up towards the sky. And exhale, lower yourself back down. Take your hands directly underneath your shoulders now, press yourself up on your inhale and exhale, downward facing dog. Then inhale, extend your left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, open your hip just for a moment. Then inhale, extend your leg square off your hips. 
exhale take a big step forward with that left foot next to your left thumb drop your back knee down uncurl your back toes and inhale lift up to your low lunge exhale take your hands to prayer inhale hinge forward then exhale take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee inhale find the length through your spine first and then exhale very gently twist open to your left side gazing up towards the sky press your left palm down into your right palm to help you feel the deeper twist you can stay here or curl your right toes under and lift your right knee off the mat to feel a deeper stretch through your legs. Really focus here on twisting from your navel and then release, lower your back knee and bring your hands back down to the mat. Let's shift back to our downward facing dog and get ready for the other side. So inhale, lift your right leg up exhale open your hip bend your knee inhale square your hips off extend the leg exhale take a big step forward with that right foot lower your back knee uncurl your toes inhale high lunge exhale hands to prayer inhale shift forward and exhale take your left elbow to the outside of your right knee inhale find the length through your spine first and then exhale, twist over to your right, pressing your right palm down into your left palm, really twisting from your belly button. Stay here or curl your left toes under and lift your left knee off the mat. Make sure your right knee stays stacked over your right ankle and keep your breath going here really breathing into these stretches then carefully come out of that lowering your back knee if you need to and step back into a downward facing dog inhale ripple your spine forward finding your high plank knees can be up or down exhale chaturanga Inhale, roll your shoulders back, coming up into a cobra position. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, press up and exhale, child's pose. Stay here for one deep breath. Then carefully roll up through your spine, vertebra by vertebra. Come on to your glutes now with the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. Inhale, lengthen your spine, open your chest and exhale, keeping your spine straight, hinge forward from your hips. So in this stretch, I want you to focus on finding length through your spine as you open your knees and let them drop down towards the mat. Use your breath here to help you relax into this stretch. You should feel a really nice stretch and release through your hip flexors and the outside of your glutes. Then roll on up. Take your feet a little bit further away from your body now. And this time I want you to round your spine forward, bringing your forehead towards your feet, feeling a nice release through your lower back and your hip flexors. This one should feel really nice and relaxing. Then carefully roll on up, extend your left leg out to the side and bend your right knee. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky and exhale, side bend over to your left. Trying to turn your chest up towards the sky feeling a really nice release through the right side of your body. Then carefully come on up, turn your chest towards your right leg, make sure that your hips are square, take a nice inhale, then exhale, reach towards your toes, inhale, find the length through your spine first, and then exhale, fold over your leg. 
don't worry if you can't touch your toes just hold on to wherever you can reach it's more important that you're finding a length through your spine and as you get more flexible you will be able to fold further forward towards your leg then inhale find the length through your spine lifting your chest and exhale gently release other side extend your right leg out bend your left knee inhale reach your left arm up to the sky and exhale side bend over to your right feeling a nice release through the left side of your body turning your chest up towards the sky taking nice deep breaths then inhale come back up turn your chest towards your leg flex your left foot make sure your hips are square and exhale reach towards your toes inhale lengthen your spine first opening through your chest and exhale forward fold again reaching for wherever you can whether that's the top of your shin or even the top of your thigh just take nice deep breaths in your stretch then inhale lengthen your spine and exhale release let's take a nice wide legged stretch now so extend both legs out flex your feet and make sure that your toes are pointed up towards the sky now this might be enough of a stretch already for you so if it is just stay here sitting up nice and tall if you want more of a stretch gently walk your hands further forward maybe coming down to your elbows wherever you can reach but make sure that your toes and your knees stay pointed directly up towards the sky really activating your leg muscles here this is a really challenging stretch for our hip flexors for our legs so just do what you can and what feels good for your body today then carefully walk your hands back towards you and gently bring your legs together hold on to the backs of your thighs now and roll your spine down vertebra by vertebra until you come down onto your back walk your feet in towards your glutes your feet are hip distance apart in parallel then lift your hips up towards the sky really press your palms down into the mat or you have the option of interlacing your fingers and rolling your shoulders under so you feel a nice stretch through your shoulders press through your feet here really lifting your hips up towards the sky feeling a nice opening through your chest then release your hands and gently roll your hips back down bring the soles of your feet together open your knees take one hand to your heart and one hand to your navel close your eyes and think of one thing that you are grateful for today let's come back into that bridge position so feet come onto the mat lift your hips up towards the sky roll your shoulders under squeezing your shoulder blades together if that feels good for you taking nice deep breaths this is really good for the health of our spine let's take one last deep breath here so inhale and exhale gently lower your hips back down hug your knees in towards your chest just for a moment to release any tension through your back maybe rock your spine side to side let's stretch out our glutes now so cross your right foot over your left thigh flex your right foot and gently pull your left knee in towards your chest opening your right knee nice and wide option to hold on to the back of your left thigh or if you want a deeper stretch hold on to the top of your left shin then carefully release out of that pull your right knee in towards your chest and extend your left leg long on your exhale carefully drop your right knee over to your left 
and take your gaze over your right shoulder. Focus on turning your navel and your chest up towards the sky as you drop your right knee closer down towards the mat. Then come back through center and let's switch sides. So cross your left foot over your right thigh, flex your left foot and pull your right knee in towards your chest. Holding on to either the back of your right thigh or the front of your right shin. Keep your shoulders relaxed here and your breath steady. Then carefully release, hug your left knee in towards your chest and extend your right leg long. Take a nice inhale, then exhale, drop your left knee over to the right. Look over your left shoulder, cactusing your left arm. Again, turning your navel and your chest up towards the sky as you stretch your right knee further across your body down towards the mat. Then come back through center and hug both knees in towards your chest just for a moment. And then release. Roll on to your side and make your way up to seated, taking a nice comfortable position on your mat with your legs crossed. Let's finish our stretch class today with one last big inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky and exhale hands to prayer. Thank you so much everyone. I hope you enjoyed this more gentle stretching practice. Feel free to use this video as a cool down after one of the workouts or even just by itself as a really nice way to wake up your body in the morning or to relax your body before bed. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much everyone and I'll see you next time.